The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I I chose the shorter gospel so I can preach longer. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. The other day I was at um, Staples getting some supplies and on the way out there was a little rack of umbrellas. And it said, don't get caught in the rain. The umbrellas were only $10. I didn't buy one because it was a sunny day. I think the prices go up when it's raining outside. But it's kind of made me think about the fact that, of course, when we we take a look at the the weather, um, when we start the day or if we're going to go traveling or especially during the summer, if you're going camping in different places, we want to be prepared for the weather so that we remain protected so that the elements don't hurt us. So if it's going to rain, you're going to take an umbrella. It's uh, going to be a little bit cooler. The evenings have been cool despite the summer. Put a jacket on and we, we kind of want to protect ourselves from the storms. And yet uh, in the gospel today, Jesus reminds us and he appoints the 70 and he sends them out ahead of them uh, without anything, no purse, no bag, nothing extra, And he sends them out, and he sends them out in this way. He says, I'm sending you out like lambs in the midst of wolves. To me, that doesn't sound very good. Not for the lambs. The wolves would be happy. But he sends them out knowing that they're going to be facing challenges. That they're going to be facing struggles and difficulties that they're going to, um, uh, there be people out there that will try to devour them, that will try to suppress the message of what, that the kingdom of God has come near. And yet he sends them out without really any extra things to take care of themselves because he sends them out knowing that they're going to have to trust God. Knowing that they can't rely amongst anything else but on God's grace and, of course, the message of the good news. And what Jesus does is as he appoints these messengers of his, he sends them out into the storm of the world. He sends them out into the rain and the winds and um, the uh, thunderstorms without an umbrella, without a coat. But he sends them out into the midst of the storms to do what? to offer peace, to cure the sick, and to bring um, the kingdom of God near. That is what we are called to do through the gift of our baptism. As uh, faithful disciples, we recognize God's call, and during our year of gifts and call, we recognize the fact that the Lord does send us out, all in various ways, in various opportunities, 
and into various storms. Because he doesn't send us out to Hawaii to be on the beach or a nice weekend trip to Niagara Falls where we can just relax and enjoy or even in the midst of just sitting and listening to this spectacular homily. Some would say this is a storm, a very severe one. It's not a disaster yet. Um, But he doesn't send us out in a sense to be comfortable to be at peace kind of in ourselves and sometimes the peace that we think about. But he sends us out into the storms, into the hurricanes, into trouble to do what but to be these messengers of hope and of love and of light and of peace and of healing in a world that needs to see that, in a world that needs to experience that love in a world that needs, in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of the storms, people of courage and of faith and of complete reliance on God to share the kingdom. And it's not as if God abandons us. That's not true. He invites us to rely on him. And in the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, we see that God, you know, Isaiah is speaking, God's going to take care of us like a mother takes care of her child. Will console, will comfort, will strengthen us. And ultimately, too, St. Paul knew this fact about being sent out into the storm, into the midst of, as a lamb, into the midst of wolves, because he says, may I boast nothing but in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Those are beautiful words, and for us to sit here and say, wow, isn't that awesome? That's beautiful. Because the cross for us is a sign of love, of sacrifice, of freedom, and for us the gift of eternal life. But in the time of St. Paul, it was the most horrible way to die. It was not a compliment. It was not something to be happy about, but it was a horrific way to end. And yet he says, let me boast in nothing but the cross. Because through the cross, I enter into the storms with courage, with love, with hope, and with the words that never fade away, that are the words of salvation offered to us through our Lord Jesus Christ as he laid down his life for us. And so as we continue in our Mass this morning, we come to Mass to be strengthened, to be loved, to be cared for, to be consoled, to be healed just like a mother for their child, as we heard in the first reading from Isaiah. We recognize the true sign of the cross as we receive the gift of the Eucharist this morning. But we also recognize the fact that we're sent out to be messengers of hope. We're sent out into the storms. We're sent out into the rain without an umbrella, without a jacket, but only with God's love. And you know what? That is enough. That is all we need. Does it eliminate any pain or suffering or fear maybe of the challenges of entering into the storm and in the uh, troubles and challenges and resistance in this world and in our society today? No. But what God gives us is perseverance, determination, and the gifts that are necessary to bring the kingdom of God close at hand. May we be those faithful and loving disciples and be lambs without fear in the midst of wolves, healing the sick, offering peace to those who seek God's love, and of course to say the kingdom of God has drawn near.